Another day, another getting in Ningere. So Nestor, our frame guy, got a little crazy. Decided to just knock out the whole frame without even telling me. So, you know, with the quarantine and everything going on, I guess, you know, he had some time with himself and knocked it out pretty quick. I let him know that I would spend the whole day with him. I wanted to help him out with it. I just wish I would have been able to get some footage. That would have been cool to see, you know, it going from like, nyeh to nyeh, nyeh. I'm not gonna complain because he does a good job, but he just hit me up like, hey, your car is done. So yeah, waiting on Indian Gary to pull up as usual. And then we're gonna go pick up the car. Gonna drop it off at Jan's tomorrow and pick up the 05 that I dropped off again for a little bit of a touch up. Hopefully quarantine can open up a little bit and get the inspection done too. Any day, any day now, any day. Oh, oh, oh. Aww. How's she look? I want to see if he's there. It's all over there. Gap's looking pretty good. I needed to change that lower control arm. So that was changed. He said it sucked, so makes sense. The wheel was shifted back a little bit. So new lower control arm on that side. And here goes the uh, frame, pretty much done. So you can see the door gaps looking money. Headlight gaps looking good. Uh, yeah, he, he's my stuff. But then the other guy, you know. There's another one. The OEM nut is in here, so it's, it's not bolted. It's not? No, it just snapped in there. I mean, it's not, there's no, I didn't put a bolt in it because I know you're going to take it back off, so I didn't. Yeah, I, ha I had the OEM ones in that little compartment, it's, it's but. It's clipped in. Gotcha. It's like all these are in there. Yeah, I got to pull this so fits. it doesn't the get like. The lights are not hooked up. Pull this in here so it doesn't it's get messed up. I don't see the horns too. I don't see the horns are. Put that in there. What was the hardest part? The hardest part was, um, it was over more than what we thought it was. I mean, it was over probably almost six inches at the very tip. Mm -hmm. You just would not, in you put, order to, as, as a whole unit, it wasn't moved, it was not cooperating, it was not moving, so I had to take it apart and pull each rail at the, individually to get it to go. And then you put that new rebar on there and everything? The rebar, it's all lined up perfect. Though. No, the radiator's good though, no leaks radiator's after you pulled fine. it, that bottom part, you got it pretty good too. The bottom part, it's all, that's all lined up. Looks good. Yeah. I know I gotta replace that air pump probably, it makes that weird yeah, sound. Yeah, I mean, the plug is broken. Yeah, okay. And, it, and the little rubber mounts are broken on it. Yeah, I know. I got that rubber piece that is, goes here. It's only one, two screws holding this headlight. Okay. Yeah, yeah I know. I got them. Like some dude repaired the tabs I on mean, it. So. It actually fits good. Okay. You plugged up any of this stuff or no? The lights or anything? I just wanted to make sure I don't run it in, when I'm driving it. Okay. Um, so here goes the gaps. Looks pretty good. There's a rubber piece that goes here. So I'm gonna put that in. So you need a little bit of body work on this hood right there. Overall, she's looking cute. I got another set of fenders, OEM and then an OEM new for half the price I bought the new ones for. It's coming along pretty good. About to take it to body shop next. Get some paint on this bad boy. So glad to see it coming from nothing. It's gonna need a little bit of love here as well. Looks like someone was eating some uh, some graham crack or something. The homies were making some s'mores in here. Oh brother. Shout out to RJ and Brent. You guys got a little job ahead of you guys. I might put some new headlights on this thing because they just look kind of eh. She's purring. All right, so we're about to make our way to drop the car off. Make sure there's nothing hanging. Looks good. I got to replace that air pump right there. It's junk. What the heck? Is there a piece of paper? Oh, that's, a that's the Honda bumper. Receipt. Let it flat, whatever. So there you have it. Nestor with the mini explanation of what he did and how much it sucked and stuff. Catching the next scene. Who knows whatever that will be. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're back in this thing. So it definitely drives better than the first time. First time that thing was like la 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 la. Still a bit shaky, but needs an alignment of course and the new tires thrown on. One of the tires is a 16 inch, so definitely gonna be a little wonky. We're almost there. Alright, so I got the car back. About to leave it here until tomorrow. And then we're gonna drop it off at the paint shop and they're gonna go ahead and get started. So the main thing it's gonna need is obviously the front end painted. 
this silver, Silverstone, is actually the OEM silver. So they're pretty, you know, it's pretty much spot on. It's still gonna get touched up because there's some scratches here and stuff. So, but I mean, it's the same as that color. So that was cool. That came in clutch. Um, some scratches here, but nothing too crazy. That's a completely different silver. So that's Sebring silver. This is Silverstone. So that's gonna have to get all done. This front end's gonna have to get painted. And then going to the rear where it got touched a little bit. There are some fine scratches here. Two dents right there. A little dent there. And then the bumper got scraped completely. There's gonna have to be a little bit of pulling needed for here to get that seam with the tail light pretty nice. So rear bumper is gonna have to basically get all done there. So this quarter panel, whole front end, blended with the doors. And that should be about it, honestly. This wheel when we were driving, this wheel was kind of like shaky. So hopefully that spindle is not bad. Maybe it's just a tire since it's bent. But I do have the new wheels going on this, both the front and rear. There they go. So one and two are going on that driver's side. Gotta take this off. Brown. Gotta get also a new end piece for the exhaust just like that. So yeah, that's about it. See you guys tomorrow. So just like that, we're back. Next day, time to take this thing to the body shop. on the S2K gang. S2Ks are starting to pile up over here or something. A little black AP1, some JDM headlights. Switching up the rear wheels a little bit, a little bit. Not bad. And those dents though, that like for sure. One, two, three, and four for sure. Be meant. I wanted to be, this one has 60 some K and you can tell like, so that's good, we talked price. Whole front end's getting painted. So basically from this door, it's getting blended into the fender, hood, front bumper. This fender is getting painted, this door as well. And then there's a few dents here. One down there, one right there on the body line, boom. One right there as well. And then a couple of nice ones right there, I think. And then the rear bumper is getting fixed as well as a little bit of the rear completely behind it. So I got inspection right over there in about a week, so. From part one. All right, so I brought this one back here. The other one's pulled up front. Hopefully I see it soon. We got a week before I need to take it to inspection, so. And here's this thing. Beautiful Thursday, just passed final inspection, salvage inspection. Everything went well, now I just gotta worry about getting this thing looking pretty again. Yeah, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you saw, S2000 is back from the frame shop, dropped it off at the body shop. He actually didn't get started yet, so it gave me a chance to pass inspection as is. Still need to put both airbags on as well as clean the car up a little bit, but My buddy needs some WD-40 over there. So after the body work and paint, the car is basically gonna be ready to go back on the road. I'm gonna double check if I need to replace that front spindle or not, cause it was kind of wonky a little bit, so we'll see. Can't wait to get the car back on the road, 100% legal. Enjoy these summer nights we finally have here in Cleveland. Be sure to show some love if you enjoyed the video, and as always, till next time, be blessed and be superish.